Hello boys and girls. Today is a glazing day with our clay picture frames. Glaze is different than paint. If you look at the bottle, it says glaze on it. And glaze is made up out of, of water and minerals and sand and chemicals or colors that change color when it's fired. And so when it goes in the kiln, that means. So with glazing, there are specific rules and directions you need to follow. The first one is you can never glaze the bottom of your piece. So I will take you through what you can and can't glaze with your picture frame. The first step with your color is you need to pick it out. I will have some samples here of the colors. You can see that we have the basic colors. I am using bright orange for my example. You can see that it's just a nice bright orange color. It will not look this way right away though. Miss Brown or myself, I will be pouring the glaze for you and we have to shake it up first so that we mix up the water and the minerals and the sand and the colors or the chemicals. You'll get with other people who want the same color as you, so whoever wants orange will group together and I will pour just a little bit depending on how many students there are, of glaze in your container, your little white container. You'll be using this to paint your glaze on. So for glazing, yes, please glaze the inside, the front of your frame. Also, you need to glaze this inside edge of the opening. You should glaze the sides and the top and the other side, do not glaze the back. You don't have to glaze the back and you definitely should not glaze the bottom. What happens is when the clay is put in the kiln, it will sit up like this because your picture frame can stand up on its own. We don't want any glaze on the bottom because when the kiln heats up or that big oven, the, the glaze starts to melt. That's how it becomes shiny. Glass is made from sand that is melted. It gets so hot, it becomes liquid and it turns into glass. This glaze has minerals and sand-like material in it, so when it gets hot, it will turn shiny as well. And so your pieces will become shiny just like in some of the pictures we saw where it looks glossy after it's fired. I'm going to demonstrate how to glaze on this small sample piece. You want a clean, dry brush. You'll dip your brush in the glaze and brush on one layer smoothly in one direction. Make sure you get all the little cracks and crevices. So I'm poking the brush in my carved areas and I'm also going to glaze the side as well. Don't keep on brushing over and over again. Can you see that there are parts that are starting to look like chalk? This part is starting to look kind of like sidewalk chalk. I need to layer one layer and then I wait. You can glaze your whole piece, your one color, and then you wait. Sometimes I can blow on it to have it dry faster. You need to wait until your clay looks entirely like sidewalk chalk before you can do your second coat. Our goal is to glaze two solid coats of color. So two different layers. Your first layer, you have to let it dry completely and it does dry pretty fast. You can see it's mostly dry right now. I should wait a little bit longer before I do my second coat. Once this is totally dry, then I can dip my brush in again. I should wait a little bit longer, but once it's totally dry, I'm going to brush a second layer on very gently to get it all covered again, poking into the little holes and parts you carved. Now you can see it looks shiny again. 
a nice thick layer. Now, if I scrub, scrub, scrub over and over again, you can see, and I don't want to touch it, but can you see that little part that's being rubbed off? I just rubbed all of the glaze that I painted on. It's all gone, and we don't want that to happen. So no, don't scrub over and over again. Lay the glaze on in one direction very smoothly. Let it dry totally before you do your second coat. Keep track of how many coats you have. If you do three coats, that's okay, but we don't want to do more than three. Happy glazing.